Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I have got another Tinkercad project that gives you some basic skills and makes you a better modeler in the long run. First, I'd like you to get into Tinkercad once again using that sign in using social providers and then choose create a new design. In that design, I'd like you to start by clicking where the name is and changing it to Dino with your initials. Uh, it's always good to name your files so later you can figure out what they are. On the right side of Tinkercad is a list of shapes, basic and advanced. We're going to go down to the dinosaur. Now this is supposed to be printed one piece at a time and then you snap it together using all the little joints. But I want to use it to teach you how to rotate and align and nudge things where they need to be. Start by dragging a head out there and setting it down. Be patient, it does take your computer a moment to load these files. Now notice our work plane is aimed this way. So let's rotate and I'm going to make sure you're in an angled view. And when you grab this rotation, if you pull your mouse way away, it rotates one degree at a time. If you go inside close to the shape, it snaps to those little lines. So let's get this to the 90 degrees so the teeth are pointed the same as the work plane. And then let's bring in the jaw. Once again, click it wait for it to show and then click to set it down same thing rotate it so that it's 90 degrees let's look at our view cube and switch to a corner view and then switch to a left view and if you look closely at this head I'm gonna do a corner top view this head is upside down his eyeballs and this is the bottom of his neck I want you to use the flip tool and let's look at this from the back corner this time. And that lets you see this up and down arrow that you click and it simply flips the head over so it's the right way. When you've got your head like that, I want you to get them lined up. Once again, we need to select them. To select in Tinkercad, all you do is click out in space, touch both shapes so it says two shapes selected. Then you can click the align tool and it gives you the alignment dots. We want ours to be centered this way and then it's probably not a bad idea for the two pieces to be lined up in the back. Click somewhere else so they're not selected anymore and then click on the left or the combo left and you can see that that's not a bad start. If you roll your wheel in though we can see that this isn't quite perfect. Let's click on the head and find the cone that'll be either above or below and let's raise that head up. Look at it from the back corner of your view cube and this is where I'm rolling in and I am going to right click drag so that I can orbit and look. It's the same as using the view cube but you don't have to click it. So this little ball has to fit in that hole. With the arrow keys on the keyboard, I can nudge it back by tapping the back arrow. This moves one millimeter at a time, and I want to keep it that way, but if you wanted to be a smaller number, you could just do that. I'm now going to use a little up-down cone to lower it into position. I'm going to use the arrow key to move it back one more, and you can see now, looking at the view cube and the side, my dinosaur's head is in place. I want to adjust it just a little bit more though. I want it so that his jaws are open for this little fun play around project. We're not actually printing this, we're just playing. So now instead of going to these long lines, I'm going to go to the perfect size that I want. I want his jaw at that spot. But now I have to look at that back shape again. And it's not in the right spot. So I'm just going to lift it up again. I'm looking in here and I can see that it's at the right spot. I'm going to change his color so it's easier to tell the difference. And now I'm going to use that down arrow to back him into place. Let's look at it from the back. Looks like it needs to go down one millimeter. So I just gently grab that cone and pull it down until I'm happy. We're not printing these. We're just doing it for fun. So you can see now I have got my cool little dinosaur head built. Let's make it a little bit more silly. I want you to switch from printable kits to the characters and you can see these are some larger easy body parts to play with. Let's make our dinosaur have a chicken body by bringing out an egg 
Let's group these two pieces so they stay together. Once again, I am selecting and just touching both. Note it says two shapes, says group. When I do that, it's gonna change to all one color, but watch this amazing trick once it finally settles in. And those red lines mean we have to wait for it to finish its job, so always make sure you do that. And then if you click the color multicolor, it keeps both colors for the project. Let's touch all three of these items. Let's use that align tool and center them and center them. And then let's click on his teeth and that lets us see the lift cone. And let's lift up the head and put it on the body or the pretend body. Let's look at it from the side. I'm gonna use the arrow keys to push the head a little bit forward on my silly body. Let's look at it from the front or the front corner. Zoom out. That's pretty silly. Let's bring out a chicken foot. Let's bring out another chicken foot. Let's give him a mustache because who doesn't want one of those? Once again, you can just set it down and then lift it up into position and make your little dinosaur, chicken, uh, whatever, as goofy as you can. Just remembering that the whole point of this project was to practice rotating, flipping, and then aligning with the arrow keys. When you've got your something like that, or even maybe a little cooler, you are good to go. When you've got something created, something like that, or even maybe a little cooler, you are good to go. Uh, make sure you show me what you've created, and then you can head to work in your modules. Friends, if this helped you at all, please click that little like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, click the notification bell. And if you have a question or a comment, please leave it down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.